Okay, so now we're gonna go over, uh, over everything that you need to make um, the DIY mask hanger uh, using acrylic pouring paint. I'm gonna go over everything that's in the kit um, that's available in my shop, Designs by Emily, and uh, we'll go over everything that's included. So first of all, um, it comes with two pieces of wood boards. Now these are pre-drilled um, so that there's three holes here so that you can um, put in three hook screws that I include. So I include three for each wood board so that you can make two mask hangers. So I include six of these hooks. Um, and after they're painted, all you have to do is just screw them in like this. So there's no um, uh, power tools necessary, no installation, no hardware necessary. Um, and as you can see, um, on the other side, I've put uh, painter's tape here so that after it's done painting, um, you know, the paint is going to drip on the side and after it's done uh, drying, um, we're just going to be able to peel the tape off and it's going to leave a nice clean surface for us to be able to mount to the wall, which brings me to the next item in the kit, which is uh, removable mounting wall adhesive. Now, I give you um, four pieces of these adhesive, two pieces per uh, mask hanger. So they're um, double-sided adhesive, and each piece is supposed to supposedly be able to uh, hold up to five pounds. So you can definitely, um, it's definitely going to be able to hold keys and uh, various items. I wouldn't put anything too heavy on there, um, but I've included four um, so that you're able to put two pieces of tape on each mask hanger on the back when we're finished. Um, the next item then, um, what I provide is uh, two pieces of parchment paper. So this can be a little bit messy and you want to keep your workspace clean. So parchment paper is great because um, the acrylic and if you're using resin at home, usually peels right off the parchment paper. So you're gonna cover your workspace with this piece of parchment paper and at the end, you just fold it up, throw it away, and no uh, further cleanup necessary. So it makes cleaning up very easy. Um, so we have two of these, one for each of the mask uh, hangers that you can make. And next, um, we have the paints. The, now these are acrylic pouring paints. Um, there is a, a pouring medium that you can buy separately that you can mix with individual acrylic paints that you already have, normal acrylic paints. Um, so you can do that as well. However, these paints, already have the pouring medium in them. So they're all ready to go, all ready to, to be poured and mixed and um, no further steps necessary. So I've included four colors here. Um, I've included a titanium white fluid acrylic paint. And uh, this one I believe is a turquoise, uh, tropical turquoise or um, kind of a, a teal color. Uh, this one is a Caribbean blue, uh, it's kind of a lighter blue shade there. And this one is a metallic royal blue, uh, which I love. So the metallic is going to give a nice shimmer, shine um, when it's mixed with the other colors and um, it's going to give a, a little bit of, of sparkle. So this one I love. Um, next in the kit I include... Uh, two different kinds of cups so what we have here are two um, mixing cups so again one for each mask hanger that you make um, this is for pouring in the paint um, so that we're gonna pour in all the paint at once uh, to make 
a mixture and that's going to give the marble effect when we pour it over the piece of wood. Uh, these cups I call propping cups because um, what I do is I like to put them upside down and so that we can take our wood board and prop it up from the surface that we're working on because as I said the paint is going to drip off the sides and that way um, we're going to get a, a nice clean uh, side edge and it's not going to um, you know drip onto the surface uh, so that we can get some some really cool effects on the sides as well so that's going to prop up your wood piece from your surface um, so you need two cups uh, per each mask hanger so there's four cups there the next item um, I provide uh, two mixing sticks so again um, when you're gonna use the mixing cup the mixing stick um, basically you're just gonna dab a little bit in and mix the paint a little bit just to um, uh, you know intermix the colors and um, so that we can get the marbling effect. You can also use it to uh, move the paint around on the wood and do different um, kind of techniques, uh, which we'll show later um, in the uh, tutorial. Um, now, I've also given a uh, toothpick, so there's six. You're gonna need three toothpicks for each and um, basically the short version is um, it's to cover the pre-drilled holes so that after we've painted we can put the toothpicks in so that after the paint has dried the paint isn't going to go in the hole and cover up the holes so that we're able to put in the hook screws. So you're going to put those aside for now and also I've included two different colors of glitter uh, so that after um, you've poured the paint uh, if you choose to add a little bit of extra pizzazz you can sprinkle a little bit of glitter I've included purple and blue um, it's up to you if you want that extra pizzazz or not uh, so I've included those in the kit as well and now we come to my favorite uh, material that I've included in the kit. Um, this is what I call the uh, the secret sauce, if you will. It's actually a dispersion medium. So this tiny little guy does a lot of magic, okay? A little bit goes a long way. What it is, is it's a little spray bottle and it's filled halfway with acetone, um, as you can see here, which is basically nail polish remover. Uh, but what I add to it is a dispersion medium right here. It's called Resiblast. It's made by a company called Eli Chemical, uh, based out of the UK. A uh, wonderful company. They make so many great um, uh, inventive um, mediums and materials for artists to use with um, resin and, and, and other um, chemical uh, mediums that are so innovative that um, they're just an amazing company. Uh, anyways, you can also probably get this on Amazon, I think, I believe. Um, you can see it's such a little bottle, but a couple drops goes a long way. So, this is half filled with acetone, and then I've added a couple drops of the Resi Blast Dispersion Medium to uh, the bottle. And um, then we're gonna shake it up so that it all mixes together and then we're gonna spray it and I'll show you how to use it later in the tutorial. So that is the special sauce. A lot of people don't know about that. So I've included it in the kit for you. Uh, the next item here, um, we have a silver paint pen. Um, this is for personalizing after the paint has dried overnight. Um, you can personalize it if you'd like, write your name, um, like the example that I gave, why I, I just put my name, Emily's Masks, um, and the silver just adds a nice metallic um, shine against uh, the background, and also I have horrible handwriting, so 
I've included um, a, a stencil of lettering, um, the alphabet, because I can't write for the life of me. If you're the same as me, then you also might choose to use the stencil. Um, however, if you have great handwriting, please feel free to just, you know, write on your own. Um, or you could do a design. You don't have to do any lettering. You could do, if you have other stencils or, or other, um, you could use stamps, you could use stickers, anything you want to personalize it. But these are what I've included in the kit. Um, so I'll show you that a little bit later. Also, um, the most important thing, but uh, you know, so last but not least are gloves. So these are disposable gloves. Um, you know, it's just a pain when you get the paint on your skin and sometimes it's just difficult to come off. Um, it's not toxic. It's, it's not going to uh, harm your skin in any way. It's just, um, uh, uh, it's just a pain to, to get at. It's just, um, yeah. So you just want to wear gloves. It's, you're just better off that way. So I've included two pairs of gloves um, so that you have for each mask hanger that you make. And um, so that are, those are all the materials. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, uh, message me um, or email me. And